Hi there folks, this is the tutorial for the Rubber Legs Brownstone or the Rubber Legs Stone, 10,000 different names, 10,000 different patterns with the same name. But it's a great pattern for early season salmon fly fishing, which is just around the corner. So we wanted to get you some patterns to tie up for that. So the first step as always, get your thread secured onto the hook. And then we're going to wrap the thread backwards a little bit, uh, closer to the bend. And we're going to tie in two rubber legs for our tail. And a little trick with doing rubber legs as tails is put one on each side of the hook. Don't tie them in on top. Tie them in on the side. And it's always better to tie them in a little long. That way you can always shorten them. If they're too short, can't make them any longer. And don't worry whether they're tied in like at the front too much. You can always leave a tag in and grab it to fold around. But get them tied in as best you can on the sides. And that will make a V-shaped tail. And we're going to wrap this tail pretty far back. Notice I'm going past the barb of the hook all the way down on the bend. I really like to tie my stonefly patterns on these natural bend hooks because it provides that nice transition and not a sharp cutoff when the hook starts to bend. So I'll go back about that far as you can see and then I'm going to tie forward and wrap the rubber legs down. Okay. Now on this fly we need to make sure we leave lots of room for the thorax and head. So the next thing we want is to take a piece of gold wire. I usually use some medium to heavy gold wire for a fly this size. And we're going to tie it in. You can tie this in wherever. I like to tie mine in close to the front and wrap it all the way back to build the body up just a little bit. So we'll wrap this back here all the way back to where our tail starts. A couple solid wraps. And now we're going to build a dubbing loop for our body. So take your dubbing tool, uh, the one that spins your dubbing, hook it in there. You want to make a pretty long loop because this is going to be a pretty thick body fly. And if your loop's too short, you can always do a couple of them. I usually end up doing it that way. And we'll tie that in. We'll get our loop all the way to the back of the fly. Get it secured in. Wrap our thread up to where we want our thorax to start. And throw a half hitch on there. And two half hitches. Pull our bottom rest out. And for this fly, I like to use dark brown dubbing uh, for the body. You can use brown, black, olive, uh, any color that will match the stone or salmon flies in your area, or any color that just looks good to you, because let's be honest, when we tie flies, half of it's about the way we like it to look. So I'm going to load up my loop here. I usually dub my flies pretty thick. I go through dubbing pretty fast. A lot of other people do it pretty sparsely. It just depends on your personal preference. Okay, so we're spinning our dubbing tool here. Getting that all wound down. You can see the nice tight body that's going to make. I might, be, I might be zoomed in too close enough flat for you to see my loop, but hopefully you'll see it as I wrap it. And it just makes a really nice, tight body. So we'll spin our rotary vise and wrap this dubbing loop forward. And we're going 
to want to make sure we taper this fairly well. So go back a couple of wraps and double over in that spot. Come back up here. We're going to get it pretty thick right behind where the thorax is going to start. So probably right about that much. We're going to leave almost half the fly for the head. And I've got a little less than half. Uh, between two thirds and half needs to be left to do this thorax. So you can see I've got it there. Push that out of the way and we'll tie off our dunning loop. Trim that. Just make sure we've got it secured nicely. And then we'll wrap our rib forward. So give it a nice, hopefully segmented look and hold that dubbing in place even better. Okay, so there's that rib, we're going to clip that off. Now keep that dubbing loop tool handy, we're going to be using it quite a bit from here on out. So now we're going to make another dubbing loop. This one can be much smaller than the first one, we're just going to do a little dub with this one. But we really want this to have that loose looking buggy leg effect. So we're going to tie that in right behind where our body ended. Throw a quick half hitch on our fly to hold our thread. And here we're going to use some black dubbing. I like ice dub for this part because it's a little bit coarser uh, and it gives a real full body to the fly. And you only need enough really for, you know, two or three wraps. So we're going to spin that down. Got it. And we're going to wrap that right on there like this. Tie in our loop. Clip it up there. Okay. Make sure we've got it all secured. And now we're going to grab two more rubber legs and tie these in as legs. So we're going to tie these in have the tag end hanging out the front. It makes it a little easier to tie them on. Get some loose wraps on there to hold it. And then we'll position them back. I put too many loose wraps in the front. You can see how it's kind of bulging there. We'll, we'll tie over that and fix it as we move forward. But for now, my legs are looking pretty good. Now as the wing case, we're going to use some thin skin. You can use scud back, any other kind of really case material. A lot of folks will use uh, turkey tail feather segments that have been glued. So we're going to tie this in right here. And this is a fairly wide piece of thin skin, about a quarter of an inch wide, that we're using for the case. And we're just going to tie this back, make sure our legs stay in the correct position as we do so. And just keep forcing that back with wraps of thread. And that's about where I want it. I'm going to take that and clip it off at about that length. And we can go back later. A lot of people like to make these shapes just like a wing case of a 
stone or salmon fly and make them V-shaped. I usually don't, um, but you can do whatever you like. All right, time for another dubbing loop. Get this secured in there. Wrap it right up next to the wing case we have on already. Half hitch our thread. And we're gonna do some more black dubbing. You know, just about the same as the time before. Enough to wrap around it, you know, two to three times is all. Uh, we're dubbing. Get it in the loop. Keep the rubber leg out of the loop. Tighten it down. And use our rotary vise to spin it on. Get our thread back. Here our loop, trim it off, and give a few reps to make sure everything stays on what we want it to. Then two more rubber legs, get them on the sides there. One loose wrap, then tighten down the wraps. Get them adjusted on. Tie them into position. And trim off the tag ends. Grab our thin skin again. Lay it flat. Tie it on. Make sure we get it tied back as best we can. And when we trim this one, we want to trim it shorter than the previous one so we can see both pieces. So I'm going to come down where I can see it. It's hard to see in the camera, I apologize. And trim it off. And you can see there that we can see those two pieces. And this one just let me straighten it out a little bit. So there you go, you can see the first piece in the back and the second piece just in front of it, and that's how you want it to look. Okay, just fix this front up a little bit. And now you guessed it, one more dubbing loop. Get that dubbing tool ready to go. Tie down our loop, get our half hitch, get our dubbing, load up our loop, spin the loop. Wrap the loop. Secure the loop. Cut it off. Two more rubber legs. Get 
get those guys tied on. Trim off the tag ends. Get everything secure. Grab our thin skin. I just made a little notch to secure this in. And I'm going to wrap it back now. And I'm back to where I need to be. And so then I'm just going to take and I'm going to trim off this front part of thin skin so it's not in my way. And so it doesn't build the head of my fly up too big. I'm going to trim that off. Okay, and then I'm going to trim my thin skin so it's shorter than the piece that's directly behind it. So just like that. And you can see now I've got that stone-like looking back with those three pieces of wing case. So to finish it off, we're just going to wrap the rest of that thin skin down. And I'm just going to finger roll on some more of this black dubbing. And we'll take a couple wraps of that around the head and then we can whip finish our fly. It's about the right amount and we'll just use our rotary vise to roll that on. couple wraps of thread on there and then we'll give it the old whip finish So there you have it, there's your rubber leg stone.